Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Renarb Studios Comics, and this is the show where I talk about the comic books I've read, where you can get those comics, and the Kickstarters I've backed, which is also where you can get those comics most of the time. Alright, so what I read recently is Hollowed Issues 1 and 2. Hollowed 1 and 2 I got from Kickstarter, and uh, let's do some credits here. Alright, Hollowed 1... Let's see here. Hollowed One is written by Casey Boker, art by Darius Johnson, music supervisor by Brian Ort. Yes, it has a soundtrack, but uh, I don't think I've heard it yet because I'm kind of confused on how to get that. So it does have music supervisor Brian Ort, letters by Michael Hoffert, and edited by Allison Flaherty. And let's see, there's a thank you on the paid, thank you page on uh, issue one, but I don't think my name shows up until issue two's thank you page. Um, I think if you look right there, the long one, Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studios Comics, that's me. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool that I got in there. And uh, let me start here with issue one. Issue one of Hollowed. Um, it's pretty cool that the art style is, uh, well, I like the art style. The best I can describe it is as uh, it's scratchy and expressive. Um, it's, I it's really awesome. See, here's what I mean by the scratchy and the awesome. Um, it, it makes me think of uh, graffiti and wall art, all sorts of cool stuff like that. So basically we have uh, in this, we have a serial killer, and he is leaving his victims, the bodies of the victims, hollowed out. And a detective from Chicago, he he gets a lead on uh, the case that takes him from Chicago to New York. And while in New York, he runs into a detective that is also on the case. And uh, this detective just barely lost his partner, and uh, it was pretty brutal. Very, uh, very awesome artwork too, I might add. And uh, so it leads him to New York, and he, uh, the chief in New York, ends up putting these two together, telling them to work together and uh, solve this case. And uh, yeah, that's for, so in issue two, that's where they actually work together, and uh, you find out that they're might be other things going on besides just a serial killer. It might be uh, some kind of plot from a large company, which, uh, yeah, I'll have I'll find that out in uh, the next issue. Apparently, uh, really cool artwork. As I said, uh, it's very stylistic. I l it's extremely expressive. I love the way uh, Darius does the uh, facial expressions in this comic really cool stuff and uh, yeah I'm excited to uh, find out where the story goes from here because issue 3 is on Kickstarter right now until March 19th so as you know I'm going to be getting a third issue from that Kickstarter and uh, I think you should as well really cool stuff if you really if you are into uh, detectives and just uh, fly by the seat of your pants kind of uh, action just non-stop craziness like something's happening every five seconds or every panel actually because the comics don't go by seconds something is happening in every panel of this issue and it is just insane and it is awesome and check that out so I recommend getting hollowed number three right now on Kickstarter you could get issues one Two and the third one that run is running on Kickstarter right now through the Kickstarter. So check that out if you don't have issues one and two, get them right now. And uh, oh, check this out! I got a sticker with it too, so that's going to be going on the lid of my uh, comic book boxes here. So that is Hollowed one and two review. Uh, let's see here. Now we're moving on to Miskatonic High number eight. Check it out. I'm going to show you prints first. Here's a print. 
This is one of the covers. I did not get this cover though. Um, so that is, uh, oh man, what's her name? Sarah, I think. Sarah is a rat girl. So that's pretty cool. Uh, she got nominated prom queen, I think. And so that's what's with the crown. No, wait. The crown is actually uh, her date Barry's crown because he is the uh, rightful ruler of the underwater people or something like that. All right, anyway, check out this print. Oh man, that's going to be cool on my wall. See, there's the underwater people right there. And there is Sarah and Barry. Pretty cool stuff. And here's another print. This one is identical to the cover that I got. See, I I actually got two covers. Um, I think I might have got the uh, Sarah one with the crown. Or I might have got the... Uh, let me see here. Here's a picture of all the covers right here. I think... Uh, that one right there is the other cover I got, but uh, every time I back Miskatonic High, I get two covers, one to give to my friend Brooke, and one for me. And I chose this one because it reminds me of a Fantastic Four cover. So that's pretty cool stuff. Um, so yeah, I got my friend Brooke uh, hooked on these Miskatonic Highs, and uh, we've been backing them together ever since. All that fun stuff. Um, my name's even on the... well no, my name is not on the thank you page on this one. I don't know why. I think on the last one they asked for my pa name and stuff, but I don't know. It does. It does say uh, I am hexed comic on there. That is someone else that I backed and reviewed just last week. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, one of the things I really like about these comics, Miskatonic High, is the uh, behind the scenes stuff at the end of the book, the teachers' lounge as they call it, and. Uh, it's all this stuff that goes behind the scenes and stuff. Anyway, I I chose this cover because uh, it looks like the Fantastic Four and Brooke got the main cover. I love how they do uh, the previously pages in Miskatonic High. I might uh, adopt this way of doing it for my own comics. That would be cool, having whoever's the main character from the last issue or so, or maybe just want someone who's not in the issue enough being the person to tell you what happened last issue, something like that. And I'll have it from their perspective and stuff. Because that's the way they always do it in Miskatonic High. It's really cool. It's all told from uh, her perspective and she's uh, all that cool stuff. Anyway, in this cover, Alex and Ren uh, go to uh, the police. Alex and Ren are two girls that are uh, their fellow students in this Anyway, they they go to the police because they uh, they lost Sarah and they're trying to find her. It's pretty cool, and uh, the police scene is pretty cool. But uh, it's like a page later, and they they like, oh, okay, we know where Sarah is, and they take her to Sarah, who is with her mom in this high tower of the city, and uh, she is trying to get uh, she. Well, she, uh, Barry brought uh, Sarah here to change, trade her for the uh, crown. And she decides that maybe there's a reason that they want this crown so bad, which there is. And uh, it's because it controls a very large monster. And, uh, yeah, it's really cool. Just crazy uh, mayhem happens after that. This issue just just soared through as a read uh, like it, it's crazy good and uh, the excitement in the issue just keeps blowing me away and I look seriously Ryan Mendoza's art in this comic knocks it out of the park every single time I love it and uh, yeah let's see here what else so yep the Miskatonic High is a good read eight this is number eight the Kickstarter for ten is running right now yes I'm a little behind my read piles getting really deep and uh, so maybe I'll bump up issue nine to read pretty soon and uh, yeah I think I'll do that I'll read issue nine soon because I still have uh, Miskatonic High meets Lovecraft I need to read also so a lot of cool stuff Miskatonic High is a fun universe to read and uh, and uh, I highly recommend 
you backing this Kickstarter, getting the full run of issues, and you'll find out why I love this series so much. Check out Miskatonic High right now on Kickstarter. It's on Kickstarter until March 25th. So, that's the end of my reviews for now. Now I'm going to show you what I got in my mailbox recently. I got some good stuff in my mailbox this week. Uh, I got Pop Kills. Pop Kill issue 3 and 4. These are thick. The artwork on them is so amazing. The artwork inside them is crazy amazing. It's a weird story. I can't wait to put that in the read pile, but as I said, my read pile is deep, so it's going to be a while until I get to these pop kills. Oh yeah, and each one comes with a postcard of authenticity, a special number that documents all that fun stuff about these. I don't know what that does. But maybe if I tried to sell them someday, that's important, but who knows? I'm not selling them. And what else I got in the mail today, or this week? I got a Stan Lee figure. I've been wanting a Stan... Well, I have a Stan Lee from the... Uh, from the uh, Captain America Winter Soldier where he's in a uniform from the Smithsonian and uh, but I wanted a Stan Lee that looks like Stan Lee not just a, a uniform with a mustache kind of thing so check this out this is my Stan Lee he is supposedly a limited edition I ordered this straight from the Funko factory Funko.com and uh, yeah I'm glad I can finally add a Stan Lee to my collection That'll be great. I'm excited to put that on the shelves and uh, all that. Okay, now I'm going to move on to Kickstarters. Kickstarter comics right now. Uh, there is a lot of Kickstarters out right now. and So bear with me. I am going to tell you about so many Kickstarters. It's insane. Uh, my wallet is not happy with me this month because there are so many good Kickstarters out. First up on the list is... Dirty Work at the Crossroads. Dirty Work at the Crossroads is on Indiegogo right now. Um, I know I don't really mention Indiegogos very often. It's because their site's confusing and hard to figure out for me. And it's a lot easier just to do Kickstarter because they they actually email me and uh, tell me, hey, this is cool. You might want to look at this. Or, hey, your friend, uh, your friend Mike Shea creator of Miskatonic High, just back this, check this out. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, Dirty Work at the Crossroads is on Indiegogo right now. It's one, it's for issue three, and uh, I missed it when it was on Kickstarter. That's why I had to back it on Indiegogo. That's one cool thing about this is uh, uh, Joshua Metzger, he, uh, he does it on Kickstarter, and then he, after it funds successfully, he moves it over to Indiegogo just to uh, just to do some backup, I guess. I, I might try and do that myself. Um, we'll see how that goes. But, yeah, so I backed uh, Dirty Work at the Crossroads Issue 3 on uh, Indiegogo. Um, you can get Issues 1, 2, and 3 all together. I'm actually doing that because I haven't got any of the issues yet, but the story looks interesting. And, uh, Joshua Metzger has done a, a, quite a handful of comics that I've backed and enjoyed, so I thought I'd give this one a shot. Next up is one called Ink, and it is... Sorry. Uh, Ink is on Kickstarter right now. It is a series of 12, 12 by 12 images. They're all prints that you can hang up on your wall. And uh, they are awesome looking prints. They're all Im square images that he uh, uploads to his Instagrams. And uh, they look awesome. Uh, if, you're, if you want some really cool, unique things, this is actually the second in time he's done one of these sets. This is volume two of his black and white prints. Check him out. Ink is on uh, Kickstarter until February 26th. This land, number one. This land, uh, it jumped out at me at first because uh, they're, one of the main characters is made of lava. And uh, I really relate to that because I have a character in my comics who's made of lava. Um, so, so yeah, I like, uh, I like the character that's a lot like my Pele. And I thought, man, I, I'll check this out. So I got 
I got looking at the uh, Kickstarter and the story. What if you had the power of a god, the ancient gods have awoken to find out a future of new a future New Zealand that uh, they are not happy with. They don't like the way this that their land has been treated and uh, they're upset about it. And uh, so they want to take they want to take back their control. This is from Hit Girl writer Mark Abnett, and uh, yeah, it blew me away. Uh, Hawaiian Polynesian culture, all that stuff. Uh, anytime I see comics that uh, revolve around that kind of stuff, I'm in. And so, yep, I backed it, and uh, they got some really cool stuff going on over there. The artwork looks awesome. They've got an awesome pin that looks like a hand, and as I'm a collector of pins, that's pretty cool for me. So check out this land on Kickstarter till February 28th, and uh, back it just like me. You won't be sorry. It's got some awesome art, got an awesome story, and it's on Kickstarter till February 28th. One Last Job, number one, is on Kickstarter right now. One Last Job is from Catalyst Comics, and uh, Catalyst Comics have done some cool stuff, uh, Paradigm and uh, Tilt. So uh, I thought, yes, these guys are awesome. And uh, so One Last Job, number one, is about an assassin. He's on his way out of the job, you know, last day I'm gonna retire kind of story, and uh, it, de it never works out that way, right? Uh, so he gets pulled back into the business for one more job, one last job, the title of the book. This is for fans of uh, stories like 007 and The Born Identities and uh, John Wicks. So if you like anything that like that, you should check out this story, One Last Job. It is a 22 page black and white comic from Catalyst Comics, Aaron Dowen, and Daniel Gimeno. Check out One Last Job number one on Kickstarter until March 1st. Crow Creek. Crow Creek is on Kickstarter until March 2nd. Crow Creek is a zombie apocalypse kind of story. It is a zombie thriller following a mysterious outbreak unraveling on a Native American rev reservation. Uh, the first thing that jumped out at me was the uh, the image, the banner of their Kickstarter logo. And uh, it, it made me think of a Jay Lee image and, you know, like Lee Weeks or Stuart Eminem. A lot, lot of different artists came to mind when I saw it. And uh, as I got looking at e the page samples and everything, the preview, I'm like, I'm in. I backed it right away, and uh, you ought to check it out. Um, Crow Creek, a zombie apocalypse thriller on a Native American reservation, is on Kickstarter until March 2nd. Next up is Crimson, the art of Abigail Larson. Every time I see Abigail Larson's art on Twitter, it blows me away. And here is a 232-page book of all of those. If you need to know what I'm talking about, go to her Twitter and uh, check out these artworks. Uh, there, There's artworks from uh, The Fifth Element, Beauty and the Beast, you name it, just any Tomb Raiders, whatever she felt like drawing at the time, she draws. And her style is, man, I wish I had that kind of style. It, The minute you look at it, you know it's hers. Uh, it's not like anything out there. Um, so check out Crimson, The Art of Abigail Larson, 232 page book on Kickstarter right now. It comes in hardbound and it comes with a slipcase that goes over it. All really cool stuff on Kickstarter until March 4th. Duplicant. All right, Duplicant number four is on Kickstarter right now until March 4th. That's cool. The fourth issue is on Kickstarter until March 4th. As you know, I just read uh, Duplicant Issue 3 in the reviews a couple weeks ago, a couple shows ago. And so, yeah, I'm a big fan of the Duplicant series. It is, what if there was an outbreak and it targeted organs? It makes your, this pandemic shuts down your uh, organs. And uh, this scientist who, I in the last issue I just read, a heartbreaking 
flashback of his memories of his first incidents of running into this uh, pandemic. And man, it just rips your heart out. Uh, so this spurred him on to uh, create duplicate organs, which uh, can be put into these people that have this virus. And uh, it heals them. But unfortunately, anybody who gets one of these organs, the price is so high that they are, if they can't afford it, they are made into indentured servants and uh, they end up spending the rest of their life working as a maid or something, working for someone who put forth the money. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bleak future and uh, the scientists who created it didn't even know really that that's what was going on behind the scenes. He just made it and he thought everything was going great. He had the money to research and make new things and uh, and make the organs better and he had no idea that uh, it was creating slaves out of the people who got them. So check out this book. The artwork is amazing. The writing is amazing and uh, I can't wait to get my fourth issue of Duplicant which is on Kickstarter until March 4th. Alright, Miracles is on Kickstarter until March 4th also. Miracles is about a superhero and all, all families have secrets. But the Morgans is just a little bit different, a little bit more astonishing than your secret. The Morgans uh, are superheroes. And they're refugees, I think. Yeah, they're refugees. And so what would happen if these refugees had superpowers? So this is a 120-page book. Check it out. It's on Kickstarter until March 4th. Berserkers, Solo Island. Now this... I, you may have heard me mention that uh, I backed um, Miskatonic High meets Lovecraft PI and uh, yeah this is from the same creator as the Lovecraft PI I haven't read Lovecraft PI I should bump that up to the first of my read pile but this is from that same creator and uh, so Berserker's Solo Island is taking place in 1950 off the coast of Massachusetts a small island known as Solo was subjected to a deadly virus that overtook its inhabitants. And that's all I know about it. But the artwork looks amazing and uh, it's from a creator I know so I'm going to check it out. And I, you should check out Berserker's Solo Island by March 5th. Alright. And here's one, uh, and Alex Daw on Facebook messaged me through Facebook messages and said, hey, check out my campaign right now. And so I did. As I said, as I've said before, uh, if you give me a heads up of a Kickstarter you're doing or an Indiegogo, I will check it out and uh, give you a shout out on the show. So here is Alex Daw's Zenner, Master of the Mind, Volume 1. And it is a powerful, unrivaled, barely clinging to sanity story of a troubled hero. This is the beginning of that story. It is three issues. You can read issue zero for free on the link of the Indiegogo campaign. This is on Indiegogo until March 9th, I think. I don't admit Indiegogo doesn't really have dates on theirs. But check out. Zenner, Master of the Mind, Volume 1, on Kickstarter, or on Indiegogo, right now. Slightly exaggerated, Issue 2 is on Kickstarter until March 10th. Um, this is a dying girl who is basically a Tomb Raider in space. Uh, she goes from planet to planet, stealing artifacts and selling them on, on other planets. And uh, she is dying from a disease. And that's one of the reasons she's stealing these artifacts is she's trying to raise enough money for a cure. So the art is insanely amazing. There are little details in each page that you've got to, if you're not really looking for them, you don't notice them. And uh, yeah, slightly exaggerated on Kickstarter right now, number two, until March 10th. Yumi. The Spy Fatale Batty, Batty Royale original graphic novel is on Kickstarter until March 11th. Um, it is a 136 page comic book graphic novel and uh, Yumi meets Richard, falls in love with him at first sight, and then he disappears. And so she ha 
has to use everything in her wheelhouse to go get him, which is she is a hacker and trained in combat. So she goes on the hunt for this Richard, the love of her life. Check it out on Kickstarter until March 11th. Vampire Bloodlines number two. This is one I read and reviewed issue one of a while ago. It was a good story. It is it's awesome. The production that they put into it is amazing. The artwork. And uh, I'm excited to get issue two. And Vampire D Bloodlines number two is on Kickstarter until March 14th. It has, I'm getting a special one that has uh, Ivy Cosplay cover. And so if you don't know Ivy Cosplay on the Twitters or the Facebooks, you should check her out. She's awesome. She does a lot of cool things. And she is doing the cosplay covers for Vampire Bloodlines number two. Young Rebels number one is new to Kickstarter. It's going till March 16th. It is a YA superhero team and a tech prodigy, Marco Martinez, creates a team of heroes to prevent apocalyptic things from happening that the team supposedly created in the first place. It's a 32 page book. It's awesome. It's from Marcel Dupree who uh, does quite a bit of things that I've backed and uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. I voted on the, uh, he had the title thing, like, hey, check this out. How do you think it should be? And, you know, like, he, different, bunch of different ones. And uh, I picked, I said, hey, maybe it should be like this, where the title is on top of each other. It would make a cooler sticker. And that's the, actually the one that they went with. So that's pretty cool. I like it. Young Rebels, number one, on Kickstarter till March 16th. I am Hexed number four is on Kickstarter right now until March 18th. Now, as you know, I just barely read I Am Hexed 1, 2, and 3, and it was awesome. It's about witches and uh, the laws around witches, witchcraft, and trying to make it legal and stuff. A lot of political stuff going in the scenes. It's in Washington, D.C. It was crazy, and this fourth issue is going to be the final issue. So I'm, I'm getting my copy, and... Uh, going to find out how this ends. It was awesome. The artwork is awesome. Check out I Am Hexed, issue 4 on Kickstarter till March 18th. And you can get issues 1, 2, 3, and 4 all in the same Kickstarter. And here's Hollowed, the book I just read at the beginning of this book. Hollowed is on Kickstarter right now. This is Hollowed issue 3. And uh, it's on Kickstarter till March 19th. Check it out. It's about two detectives trying to find a serial killer that is hollowing out his victims. And uh, it has a soundtrack that goes along with it. Check out Hollowed on Kickstarter till March 19th. Okay, a causal number one is one I just discovered this morning. It is on Kickstarter till March 19th. It is a fast-paced crime comic with a hint of sci-fi. And... Uh, the story is about a Tara Becker who is some kind of officer and she has to learn to trust a pair of two criminals to find out uh, to make it through the day and uh, these two criminals are they receive messages from the future no idea how yet but uh, she has to work with these criminals that are getting messages from the future so that she can save her own f future that uh, causal number one is on Kickstarter till March 19th. And bet, all right, I might need help pronouncing this. So if I'm pronouncing it wrong, please help. Please help me out on this. Bet Noir number one through three is on Kickstarter till March 21st. Bet Noir is a mysterious vigilante and acts a plan of brutal revenge against those who wronged him in a dark and twisted tale of vengeance and pain. It's a world without few, without heroes and uh, what happens when only villains remain? Find out in this book. It is crazy and uh, the artwork looks amazing. So uh, there are a few sample pages up on the Kickstarter you can check out. Bet Noir is on Kickstarter till March 21st. Issues 1, 2, and 3. Glarian of White Ash is on Kickstarter right now. White Ash is one of my favorite storylines. Uh, I will back it every single time it comes up because it's that good. It is Glarian is a branch off of uh, 
one of the characters' moms. And uh, it, this is the history and the backstory of what happened to this mom of one of the characters from White Ash. So check it out. It's on Kickstarter until March 24th. It is not safe for kids. It has very adult themes and images. So uh, yeah, and it's got there's a cover by uh, Leona Kangas on there. So that's pretty cool. Um, I, I might get that one. We'll see. And Miskatonic High number 10 is on Kickstarter until March 25th. That is the one, the uh, issues after the one I just read in my previews. So check out Miskatonic High number 10 on Kickstarter till March 25th. And that's pretty much all I got for you. Um, it's been a crazy week. Um, our plans to uh, work on our basement fell through and I might have a different person coming over to help me with that. We'll see. Um, and uh, my wife and I upgraded our Hulu account to include stars so that we could watch the latest season, I think season six of Outlander. We've already watched it, so maybe I can downgrade back to normal. And uh, I think that's all I've got for now. If you have a Kickstarter or Indiegogo campaign going right now, hit me up, say, hey, check out my campaign, and I will check it out, give you a shout out, all sorts of fun stuff. So that's the end of my show. Thank you for watching. Bye.